No one wants a boring, clean guitar with no effects. Even people's clean guitar settings have some effects on them. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guitar pedal right here. Okay, so I got the delay pedal all set up, ready to go. Right over here, uh, I have the overdrive and the distortion pedal grayed out so we can focus on solely the delay. And let's break this down knob by knob and effect by effect. Let's start with the default. Let's hear how the default sounds. Now I'm gonna just play one note because the delay, the delay is a different kind of pedal. It's a little tricky to kind of understand at first, but it, once you understand it, it's really, really simple. So I'm just gonna play one note at a time. I'm not gonna play a chord, I'm not gonna play a, a melody or anything, um, just so I can show you how it functions, okay? So basic default settings of GarageBand uh, of this specific blue echo delay pedal. Okay, so I just played one note at a time really slowly and let it ring out so you can hear how what the echo does is, well, it's actually a delay pedal, but often enough, uh, delay pedals are kind of called echoes because it sounds like the sound is echoing within itself because there's the repetition and then it slowly dies out. So that's what a delay pedal does. Now let's take a look at the first knob. The first knob is time. Time is how far how much time um, the next note will repeat itself. So once you hit a note or a chord, it's how much of a delay it's going to be. So let's take a listen one more time at the delay or at the default setting that the time has. Okay, so let's space this out. Uh, let's do a lot of time, which uh, let's see, the max is 1500 milliseconds. So let's do that. Okay, so as you can see, 15 milliseconds is kind of a long time. It's almost like a second or two. Now let's try lowering the time and having a fast, fast reflex. Let's do about 80 milliseconds. Okay, I hit the string three times, and there's there's not a enough time, so it almost sounds like there's just a double of it really, really fast, but you can still hear it. Let's listen to that one more time. It almost sounds like a, like a really fast echo, like the guitar is in a room or something like that. So that's the time, and I'm going to do the time somewhere around the middle where the default setting was. Okay, now moving on to repeats. Repeats is uh, how many repetitions the delay is. So simply if you raise up the re uh, repeats, you're gonna get more repetitions after you stroke a note. So let's take a listen to more repetitions. for a second. Now repeats you have to kind of be careful with because if you let it ring out like that, repeats is basically feedback and that's why it uh, it's just constantly repeating itself because um, that's what a delay is actually originally modeled after. It's a repetition because it's being fed back from the out back to the input over and over and over where it creates that effect where it just gradually builds up a sound and then it'll get really loud and, and it'll just like you can't comprehend what's going on and you think it's gonna blow up but um so be careful with the repetition button uh, let's n turn the knob lower and do a lower percentage of repeats like 37 let's hear how that sounds okay I hit the string once and there was only one repeat at about 37%. So let's do, let's do somewhere around 64. Okay, so there is only about one or two maybe uh, repeats of that note. 
So that's what the repeats does. I'm going to turn this back to somewhere around the middle. And the mixture is obviously how intense or how much of the delay is being mixed into the original signal. So if you have a low mix, that's going to be uh, once you hit the note, you won't be able to hear the signal after. The repetitions won't be as loud. So if you turn the mix higher, you'll be able to hear the repetitions more louder. And that's the basic uh, basic function of the mix. So let's turn up the mix really, really loud. I'm going to hit them one more time. Okay, and it's usually that first note was kind of loud. It was almost just as loud as I originally hit it. Now let's turn the mix all the way down to 2%. See, that, that was just way too soft where you couldn't even hear it. Um, so let's turn it up to about 24. See, so there's a mixture of all three of these at the lay. You really, it takes a lot of time to set it up to perfectly how, speci um, especially with um, a specific type of melody that you're trying to play you have to mess with all of these because they really affect each other greatly. So, um, yeah, go ahead and have fun. Uh, let's, let's see if I can just mix something really quick. Okay, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. So there you go, have fun with the delay pedal. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to requests at mahalo.com.